All right, today I'm going to be literally fishing for fish in a barrel. And I'm going to use them as bait to catch bigger fish. I'm wanting to remove all of the bluegill out of this system. I want this system to be goldfish only, so maybe I might try breeding them in the future. So it would be a good idea to get rid of these North American chitlids. The bluegills I have in the main tank and the acrobatic one that made it into my filter system somehow. So let's see if these red worms will entice them to bite. And the goldfish should not eat the red worms. At least that's what I'm hoping. And that guy down there is hiding in the intake pipe right now. I may have spooked them too much. All right. No more bluegill in my filter tank. Filter barrel. Now here is the acrobatic bluegill. This guy would have had to have jumped about a foot to get into the exit pipe of the tank. Or a few feet. Whoa. Almost went back in the barrel. or a few feet to get over the edge of the tank. I'm gonna get this guy in the bucket and then try to catch the rest of the bluegill in the main tank. Ah, missed him. He might not bite again, too. There we go. Another bluegill. I'm not sure how many I have in here. It's not too many. I may have to come back another day to catch the ones that I missed. The goldfish were looking at it, but the bluegill are more aggressive. Whoa, a good one right there. i make some good bait. They're acting scared of it now. I guess they know what's going on. Oh, missed them. There's a couple of really small ones. May not be able to hook them with this hook. Oh, <laughs> Snag the goldfish. Well, I think they're on to me. So time to go to the lake. I might try to net a couple of them before I go. But I'll see you guys on the water in exactly one second. All right, the sun is down. Got out here a little bit late. So only got maybe an hour or an hour and a half to fish. This is actually a weeknight for me. I've got to work in the morning. But I'm still going to try to catch something on these bluegill. Now I have three bobber rigs here. Two of these bobber rigs, the ones that are on the side here, were given to me by one of my previous clients. He wanted to show me some catfish bobbers that he made himself. So I'm going to give him a try. And this is the Muddy River Catfishing Bobber. 
I'll show you more about these rigs once I get a fish in a boat. This is why I bought these record chaser rods was to use with live bait because it's so much easier to cast a live bait when you're using a spinning setup. Spinning setups are for finesse fishing. At least it rattles when it's out of the water. I won't get all these lines tangled up. It's usually what happens when I use multiple bobbers at the same time. I'm not going to anchor either. I'm just going to float around. So hopefully I'll catch a fish tonight. I don't think catching fish in a barrel counts as actually catching a fish. I tried. It's now about an hour outside of my bedtime on a weeknight. And I don't have any fish. In fact, my lines are wrapped up, which I kind of knew this was going to happen eventually. So I'm going to have to fix that. Now before I officially close this video, I'm going to show you guys what I got going on here once I get this mess figured out. I kind of let the boat get a little bit too slack and all the fish swim into each other. Alright, now that this mess is fixed, here's what I got going on here. The bobbers the client gave me are just homemade slip bobbers. Looks like a couple of plastic pieces on one side and the other of a pool noodle with a straw through the middle. And he added these staples to put a glow stick here. And I could take this off and throw it away since it's not working. I forgot to bring glow sticks with me. I left them in my truck so I didn't change it out. On this one, I got two beads on the top and a bobber stop. That's a small bobber stop. So I had to put a smaller bead on here to make sure it didn't go past this bobber stop on this one. And I added another bead, a two ounce sinker, and another bead. Then you got your swivel, leader line, a little rattle, and the ADOT Team Catfish Double Action Circle Hook. I've caught fish off of bobbers like this in this waterway before, but this waterway has skunked me before as well. Like tonight. Now the Muddy River catfishing bobber that I have is not on this because I took it off. So I've got the same setup, except for I have a sinker slide. And I, where did I put it? Right here is the Muddy River catfishing bobber. It's got like a PVC pipe in the middle of it with a little swivel. And that swivel connects to the sinker slide on the line, which makes storage of this really easy. I don't think I could actually put these in my rod lockers with those big bobbers on there. But this one with the small bobber off of it I could put in my rod lockers. Maybe. These rod lockers were made for bass fishermen, it seems, on this Pro Cat 200. At least I caught fish on the video, although catching fish in a barrel it probably doesn't count. I did accomplish what I wanted to accomplish, getting the bluegills out of the tank. I think I've caught every single one of them with a net after I caught them on rod and reel. Now all I need to do is get a whole bunch more goldfish and grow them really big and use them as live bait and hopefully not get skunked. Now I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. My goal for my next video is to catch a bunch of catfish. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.